Oh my God. That black part oh. is the dying uh, flesh, and uh, that has moved up my leg. Oh my God. It was, it was so much pain. For this court to understand how a cut turns into you losing your leg, this court has consulted an infectious disease doctor, Dr. Anna Catherine Birch. Sheriff Matt, will you get Dr. Birch? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Good day, doctor. Doctor, can you explain the nature of the necrotizing fasciitis? So it can start with flu-like symptoms, fever, body aches, those kind of things. But within a couple of hours, it can turn into a really bad rash. Here you can see the redness of the area, um, the way it starts. And to the left is a little area of tissue that is already dying there. Um, so usually a patient would have extreme pain and then within five to six hours, um, it, can, it can turn into a worse looking infection. So this is a pretty fast moving disease. Absolutely it is. It can kill you quickly within a couple of hours. Well, Ms. Walker was in a lake. Is every swimmer at risk? Unfortunately, the bacteria that causes these infections are in the environment everywhere. So anyone who swims with an open cut um, can get an infection like this. And especially if you have a, a compromised immune system. Well, how do you treat it? It is a surgical emergency. So the person who comes in has to go to the OR immediately. The surgeon will actually open up the areas. You can see a picture here where they go in and take out all of that dead tissue and try to rinse out as much of that bacteria as possible. And then of course, we're gonna start IV antibiotics as well. Um, but sometimes the destruction is so much mm -hmm. that you actually can lose a limb and have to have an amputation to survive. Thank you, doctor. We appreciate you. You are released. Miss Walker, I've been watching you through the doctor's testimony and the pain on your face is indescribable. This, like every other personal injury case that I've presided over, has the same structure. You have to prove three things. You've got to prove that Barrett all did something wrong, that their wrong caused your incredible injury. You all have put up evidence that you went for a romantic, almost a second honeymoon at Barrett All. You're doing something fun and exciting, being nude, get in the water. Sounds like a great time, but it didn't turn out that way. It turned out with part of your life and your body being cut away. Mr. Jackson, you seem like a good guy running this resort. Thank you, Your Honor. It sounds like a place where most people have fun and you've never had this happen before. I get your point about the lake being natural and what's in there is in there because of nature and you believe that should not be your fault. The law imposes certain duties on everyone. If there's bacteria in your lake and things you know about that would cause this kind of injury, you have a duty to warn people. You also have certain duties if you know about physical conditions, even a little cut. The law says you take care of yourself first then you look to the responsibility of other people. Here, it's an issue of knowledge of risk. Mr. Jackson did not have any idea that you had cut your foot or that you were going to get into that lake with a cut. You did let him know that you had rheumatoid arthritis. And we know from what the doctor said, rheumatoid arthritis compromises your immune system. You had knowledge of the risk that he did not have. Because you had higher knowledge of the risk, the law places upon you a higher duty to take care of yourself. Otherwise, you've assumed the risk of getting an infection when you get in that water. The result, your injury, you're losing a leg, that does not determine a legal result. I've got to look at whose fault is this. Based on the evidence, as hard as it is, this is one of my toughest days as a judge, I must find against you because you knew more about the risk than Barrett all and Mr. Jackson did. And when that happens, the defendant wins regardless of how bad the injury is. I find for the defendant, that is my verdict, and this matter is adjourned.